I died when I was eight. Oh, yes. I didn't know that. He saw a lady with long white hair. Yes, yes. <gasps> oh! Happy Monday, Alex. Happy Monday, Roy. So I told her, I was like, yeah. no, you cannot see my butthole until we get married. Because I just want to save some mystery. She's seen everything else. You're so sweet, man. I know. You got to think ahead. You're so sweet. I don't know. So this is going to be my favorite episode and possibly the best episode. Yeah. That you we've know done. why? Why? Because this is the most requested episode. I know we were only on like, this is like seven. Yeah. But every comment section has at least a few people saying, hey, do ghosts. It might be the same person. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Just comment on everything. It's video. actually me. Like, it's me. <laughs> oh, you want to talk I, about I, it? I, yeah, I made like three fake accounts and I was like, hey. Well, if you, guys, if you guys aren't super familiar, if you haven't been watching us for the freaking 18 years we've been on YouTube. Yes. You would know that Roy is in tune with... The spirit world. Not in tune. It's I'm just more sensitive to it. Because you died almost. Oh no, you did die. I did die. Oh, that's all. You didn't make that connection. I did not make that connection until the previous podcast. So, (laughs) okay, we'll get to that. But I just want to point out first and foremost, our hair. Hello. Oh yeah. We have our. This is the first podcast with our new haircut. Look at me. No more. You went back to your old hair. I got some new hair. How's that hair? It's weird. It's like a mix because I've always had it super clean fade yeah. or long. Yeah. So now it's both. Are you confused? Yes. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I go like this, but then there's no hair. So then I scratch back here thinking it's a fade and then there's there's yes. hair and then B Dave's going to love it. Dude, audio listeners, um, uh, uh, I call, almost called you Monette. Alex has a, <laughs> a wolf cut slash like a mohawk, modern day mohawk. Modern mullet. And I have the 2017 guava juice haircut. Mm-hmm. A lot of people want this back, so I think this is it. There you go. I like it. You like it? You like it. I like it. Oh, yeah. That looks good. I, I feel so good whenever I get out of the shower now. Mm-hmm. Less shampoo, less conditioner, less time drying my hair off with the towel. Yeah. I, I had no idea how I dealt with the long hair. I bet so your long. neck is strong. Why? I bet you got a strong neck game. Yeah, from the Goggin. No, from, from David Goggin? From David Goggin, yes. <laughs> no, That's exactly I mean, what I said. Just from holding all that weight and now it's gone. Yes. It's like when like a super overweight person gets fit and they just have all this muscle because they're carrying that weight for years. But my hair didn't weigh 10 pounds, dude. Yeah, but for your neck to carry, imagine carrying a one pound weight on your head forever, always. So you're saying women have stronger <laughs> necks than men? Yeah. I believe that. It's like Rock Lee when he takes off his ankle weights. You've been He's been watching Naruto, y'all. And he has been so excited. I'm so excited for him. Believe it. Look at you. I was so happy for you, bro. <laughs> we got to do an anime podcast one day. I'm just so scared like we, no one cares about it. I don't know. We talk about it a little bit in every video. Yeah. And like you guys think we talk, if you think we talked about it a lot, I, I'll i go through and I cut out like three minutes of anime talk because we're talking about it for too long. I know. And the last one I cut out like three minutes. I was like, wow, we, re- we really went off. And we thought we didn't. I know. Maybe we could talk about it. Maybe, I don't know. Let us in the comments. Please let us know what to talk about next. Anime, that would be lovely. If not, we can talk about something else. You know what everybody um, told me growing up? Like my whole life. What? It, and there's one person that said it the most, is that I should be a voice actor for a cartoon. Oh. Logan Paul. When we first, uh, when we were hanging out, when we lived next to each other, he would always be like, dude, you have to do cartoon voiceovers and i was mm-hmm. like i would man i don't know I, I can't just do that yeah but i would love to mm-hmm. yeah did you you did for i a did a couple times i did for nickelodeon one time and then i did something else but it was really cool <sighs> seeing my voice same bro i was trying to get you for the guava juice show i was pushing your name so hard uh, uh, i would have loved we couldn't, that we couldn't get so i tried getting alex's voice because i have a um a cartoon show called the guava juice show and I wanted him to play the antagonist of the show. Was that bad guy? The bad guy. <gasps> my complete opposite. Oh. But we ended up being friends in the show. Oh. Just because we vibe, because we're so Can opposite. It. What up, party people? But Turn. then there's some rule with like, because uh, the production's based in Canada. Yeah. And you had some oh, going sag. on. Your sag. And then they couldn't like do a hybrid or a mix. So that, yeah. It's but okay. It's cool. Next time. Next, next time. time. One day. Yeah. Ended up getting uh, someone else. Actually pretty good too. Oh, I saw your announcement video. 
Yeah. Well, how do you feel? I feel good, bro. I feel like um, the re- ah, the announcement video was just saying how I was just for guava juice. I made a guava juice announcement video saying I didn't know what to make because yeah. I, I was so unmotivated. You could tell you lost, like you you were like lost. I was lost. Yeah. I didn't know what to film. Mm. Everything on YouTube was stale and boring. Like you. What, what do you think about YouTube nowadays? Dumb, right? Um, I don't think. I mean, it's just it's just you get so familiar with a certain way, but our whole lives we've been adapting to the new stuff, yeah. new stuff, new stuff. It's just it's just the more recent stuff they kind of push down long form to bring yeah. up the short form and it's cool. It's just I think the main thing is I like being a storyteller i like letting jokes play out letting things play out yeah but that's not that's not life anymore but it's it's working for them i guess like if they keep doing it it must be doing well because they have tiktoker i mean i'm not tiktoker they have youtube shorts people that are popping off yeah and it's good for the short attention span of this new generation but you make zero sense from shorts no you make some it's just you need a lot more views i have a shorts on the guava juice channel like with 200 million views oh can you guess how much money money that video generated 200 million okay well let's say what would it be if it was long form <laughs> what would like it be um over a million huh if it was long form 250 million views it would be oh, millions of dollars you would have made. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. But this is short form? Yeah, short form. Okay, I'm going to guess. 200 million views on a short form content. Yeah. It's... As opposed to long form, which would be... 14 how many, seconds. How long. many millions if it was long form? If it's 200... Oh, 200, 200 million? million? I have no idea, bro. Probably... Okay, let's just say it's a million. Okay. Okay, the shorts, I would say, is 15,000. Okay, final answer? Yeah, on 200 million view shorts. 200 million view seconds. shorts, 14 seconds. I made $80. No way! That's. Are you sure? I'm positive, bro. I'm Look like, it up. Look it up right now. Make I'm, sure. I'm, I'm positive. $18 on that short. Of, of the whole time span of it? Yes. What? This is, is it because it's not a minute long? I think I, I, that's what I'm thinking. If it's not 30 seconds or longer, then they don't what? really... It's kind of dumb, man. I'm so interested in what you're about to see. Yeah. $80 and 200 million? Mm hmm. That's crazy because the watch time on that has to, if they watched all the way through, that has to be hours and hours, like days. Yep. $90. No way. Yep. $90. It's $225 million. Yeah. Okay. So 200 million times 14, whatever that is. Oh yeah, it's like that's t- that's two days of of I watch time. Know. That's crazy. I don't understand. Well, anyways, my guava juice announcement basically just says I'm gonna be making content again because I found my new purpose. Mm-hmm. What is it? Is uh my new purpose is to make content that my future kids would enjoy oh. and watch and laugh and be inspired by. It's like how I met your mother. Yeah. Except YouTube and yes. it's content for them. Like I want them to watch it and be like, that's my cool ass dad. Yeah. That That'd cool? be cool because like, you know what's in it. You know it's clean content. You know it's PG. You yeah. don't have to worry about them finding something that they shouldn't be watching because you just put your channel on. Yes. And they get to familiar with dad and then you come home and they're like, it's like, it's like their favorite character in a TV show com- is coming over. Yep. So they just get excited. That's cool. Yeah, so I'm excited. I think it's a new era, especially with the hair, 27 guava juice yes, hair. Yes, sir. Um, but yeah, man, ghosts. Mm, ghosts. Ghosts, ghosts, ghosts. What is a ghost? I want to hear your thoughts. I, I I feel like I don't know the difference between a ghost and a spirit. Cause, but in my head, it sounds like spirit is like they're like the the good and ghosts are like the lost and dark souls. Mm-hmm. But I'm assuming that ghosts are people that hasn't moved on yet. They haven't, they didn't go to heaven or hell. They're in purgatory. But then spirits are, maybe they're like, there's good spirits and bad spirits. Maybe they did make it, but then they found a way to, I don't know anything. I don't either. I, I feel like they're the same thing, spirits and ghosts, no? They're you just think? like interchangeable ghosts and spirits. Like humans and people. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay. And I think so. I think they're just stuck on Earth. 
because they either have some kind of attachment here on Earth that they just can't let go of, and they have to figure that out before they they move on. Mm-hmm. I think that's my perception and theory of ghosts. And uh, yeah, who knows when you die? I don't really know what happens when I die. What if uh, what if when you die? Yes, they give you an option, and they're like, "Hey, you want to go straight to heaven, or you want to be a ghost for a couple of years?" Mm. And just live that life. The ghost? I feel that's like boring, dude. All the ghosts I see in like documentaries and ghost hunting videos, they're always doing the same patterns every day. Like they're like repetitive. So maybe what if they're like, you want to be a ghost for one year? Would you do it? No. A month? No. A week? Okay, maybe a yeah, week. Yeah. Just to figure it out. Just see what it's like. Yeah. Heaven's always going to be there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Would you? Oh, yeah. Yeah? I'd be, I'd be, I'd probably not haunt but i would give you signs that i'm I'm like yo i'm good but i do believe that when you die you become a ghost for just a little bit yeah you think i yes absolutely because my first experience with a ghost happened during an open casket funeral oh you said this or a wake yes yeah the other podcast i mentioned this briefly but yeah, I think you become a ghost after you die because you get stuck. Yeah. And your soul doesn't know where to go yet. And when I was eight, I went to this wake, this open casket wake, and um, I saw this old guy in the casket. Mm-hmm. Um, I didn't know who it was. It was a family, family friend. And I, saw, I was looking at this old guy, and then I looked at my grandma, looked back at the old guy. I looked to the corner... I see this the same old guy on the casket, but he was standing in the corner. Hmm. He that, had a twin. I, I, I didn't know. Maybe. He could have. I didn't ask. I was so freaked out. I was like staring at the old guy, staring at the casket guy. They both looked the same. Maybe it was a twin, maybe not. I didn't ask. I said, okay, Grandma, let's go. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. That was the first time. That was my first ghost experience. If you guys uh, are listening, hmm. there's going to be a lot of stories from Roy's side because he he's very connected with that world. Yeah. Dude. Because he died when he was eight. Yeah, when I was eight. You okay, got shot. I got yeah, I died. Yeah, oh, I died. Yeah. I died when I was eight. Yeah, you did. I got electrocuted. Um and my heart stopped beating. Mm-hmm. And ever since that day, I could see ghosts. Because <laughs> yeah. literally that 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 wake or that old guy incident happened within the same month oh yes i didn't know that yes whoa and i was like whoa this is is that real so i don't know if i was stripping i'm pretty sure i got possessed when i was dead how did you never make that realization i don't know if it was a month apart i don't know <laughs> you know crazy. this podcast brings back memories and it just kind of pieces things together did your dad ever die and come back because he, he has I some kind of connection ask. too doesn't he yeah and he's told me a lot of stories of him growing up in the philippines and oh my he definitely could God. have died a bunch of times for everyone watching and listening my dad can see ghosts he has the thing called the six eye mm-hmm. he likes to call it is where he can kind of see spirits six eye the sixth sense or the third eye yeah <laughs> <Sorry. I'm just laughs> six eyes is your dad a spider yeah two eyeballs two balls <laughs> um yeah but he can see ghosts he the, the reason why i'm so fascinated and interested about the spirit world is because of my dad he would tell stories of his time in the philippines and he would there's incidents in like here at home too where he would say something like one time we were eating dinner it was like freshman freshman high school me and my family were just eating dinner very casually they're laughing whatever and then all of a sudden my dad says holy shit what he like froze and then he started tearing up a little you can see his his eyes water yeah because uh he saw something yeah so um you know in my house you know where the dining table is where the your mm. current house my current house yeah, yeah. dining table mm-hmm. and then the fridge and then you know there by the fridge is that one room mm-hmm. with that other dining table mm-hmm. well anyways he saw a lady with long white hair peeking through that area of the house and then going away and then my instinct, yeah. I was like, oh, yeah, let's go, let's go. Yeah. So I went. I was so curious. 
because I wanted to know, like, what the fuck did he see? Yeah. So I went straight to where he saw the lady with the long white hair, and it was freezing cold. Where you? Where, the air. Oh. The, the air where that the, he saw the lady was freezing cold. <laughs> like, like chills. Like, oh my God. It was like, <laughs> like Antarctica. <laughs> oh, so it was colder next to the fridge it's not the fridge that's my first that's my second thought i was like oh this this guy is lying it's next to the fridge he probably it wasn't hmm. it was colder than the fridge well i guess it's not cold like the outside of a fridge yeah is not that's cold. true yeah yeah. yeah yeah huh i've only ever had one where i was like okay that was weird okay uh i was filming with my niece malaya yeah and we were at my parents house in the game room it was just me and her and one camera and we're filming and then I, I wish I could find the footage I think I made a video about it mm-hmm. uh, I'll show you I'll send it to you uh, we're filming and then I'm asking her like question life questions to a five-year-old yeah and one of them was like how do I find a girlfriend and I paused in between I said that I said yeah. how do I find and then I said, a girlfriend, two okay. seconds later. Okay. And then I'm like, oh, and then she's like, mm, blah, 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 whatever, five-year-old. And she said, so I look back at the footage and I'm like, oh, okay, it looks fine. Yeah. I post it and then all these comments are saying, did you hear that? Did you hear that? Did you hear that? And I was like, hear what? Hear what? So I look back at the footage and in that pause, <laughs> in the pause, I say, how do I find, and then Right before I say girlfriend, a girlfriend, you hear someone to compete with me. Wait, what? Yeah. Someone what? To compete with me. Someone to compete with me? Yeah. So the it's like a, I have a stalker ghost and she said, and when I was about to say girlfriend and I was like, how do you find someone to compete with me? A girlfriend. And then I was like, whoa. And then what? after after that, I was like, okay, that's weird. I had goosebumps. I texted the editors. I was like, hey. Is is this what is this from? Is this accidentally put in? Is this part of the song, like the background music? Mm-hmm. And they said, we didn't put that in. There's nothing except for the music, and the music has no dialogue. There's no lyrics in the song. We don't know what that was. We didn't catch it either until yeah. you just sent this, and that's all I know. So you have a stalker ghost that lives in my parents' house, I guess. Just the fact that the ghost said to compete with me. Yeah, isn't that weird? That wasn't you. That you're not pranking no, the world? No, no, I'm not pranking the world. I don't. I really don't know what that is. I've shown a bunch of people that footage. And what? Yeah. That's weird. I, yeah. That's that's cool. I've never had like a voice experience. Yeah. I don't know what that was. We should go to your home whenever we're both back in North Carolina and ghost hunt. We should ghost hunt. You, that is very commented. In all our videos, they want us to ghost hunt. I think it's because Sam and Kobe brought it b- brought it back. Yeah. Like, it was kind of... It's like you with the bathtubs. Yep. Like, it was a thing, but they kind of mastered it. Just mm-hmm. like you mastered the bathtub videos. Okay. They did that. So now everybody wants everybody to do ghost hunting. But, like I said, I, I've never... I It's not that I don't believe that they are real, yeah. but I am super open to it. Just like Bigfoot. Mm-hmm. Like, I have no evidence that he's real, but I'm super open to it. I hope he's real. I would love to find out that he is. I would mm-hmm. love to, down in my heart, completely know that he is real. Yeah. And I don't care if anybody believes me or not. Yeah. But I have to be sure for myself. So ghost hunting, I, we're actually going ghost hunting tomorrow. Yep. Um, everyone listening, watching, we're going to the Pasadena Bridge. Mm-hmm. Apparently, that's like a very, very demonic place to investigate. Yeah. Um. We got a bodyguard, though. We have a bodyguard slash paranormal investigator. Yeah. He's also our piercer who done her piercing. He's yeah, also a Mark. pirate. Also but he's a licensed duty. bodyguard, too. Oh, and I didn't know that. Yeah, he is. Wow. He has his uh, license. So, yeah, we're going to... What do you think will happen tomorrow? I'm hoping something... Like... Paranormal. Okay. Not like homeless people coming at us or anything. I, don't, yeah, yeah. I hope that doesn't happen. Uh, I just don't want anyone, anything going home. That's it. Yeah. How do you How stop do you, that? Uh, yeah, I was about to ask. Do we just go there and be like, spirits, fuck me up, but don't go home with me. Yeah. Is that the right thing to I, say? I guess, but like, why would they listen to you? They, they don't, they're not obligated to listen to you just because you request. Maybe it's not like a vampire where you have to invite them yeah. in. So the ghosts 
under the bridge. You know how I said some ghosts kind of do repetition; they just go yep. in the routine over and over and over again. What are those ghosts? They're, those are like h- higher quality ghosts, the ones that can like haunt people and like scare Maybe you. Maybe they're or? trapped on the bridge. Maybe they can't leave the bridge. That's why they is repetition. They have nothing else they can do. Oh, so they can reason. move like free, willingly under the bridge. Yeah, maybe. Or are they demons? Ooh, what about? So there's ghosts that have unfinished business. Sure. What if? What about the souls that heaven didn't want and hell didn't want? Uh, then they're just here. Then what? They're just here. They're just. I I really don't know. So they don't have unfinished. So business. what if they're a just, comet? No choice. What if a comet strikes Earth? Do they die again, or do they get stuck? Still in the same spot in the universe. What, what if the world explodes? Where do the ghosts go? That's what I'm saying. They just float around? They just float in space? So they're space ghosts? <laughs> they're space ghosts now? I don't know, man. We need to get an expert. We do. We should get some paranormal expert just to yeah. for questions. Yes, yes. <gasps> oh! oh, what? What? Why? <laughs> Why did that happen? Anybody know? Did you press a button? Did you press a button? They press a button. They're trying you to spook press us. the button. Oh, okay, okay, oh, okay. If you guys are audio listeners on Spotify, the lights you can turn go to off. YouTube and see oh, that we got pranked by our director. Oh this my goodness! Guy. That's crazy. <sighs> but anyways, dude, I th- I hope we're gonna be okay tomorrow. I'm pretty sure we are, cause every time I've done like ghost hunting videos, I've done a lot of 3 a.m. videos. Nothing's happened. No, I provoked the sh- <laughs> of the ghost too. I'm like, if you're here, touch me. Kiss me. Like, do something. Touch my butthole. Nothing happens. I think the secret is the more you ask, the less they will do things to you. So you have to act like you don't believe them? Act like you're scared. Oh. But they feel frequencies, it's just like, I feel. Uh, like a universal mm-hmm. Halloween Horror Nights. Yeah. If you act scared, the actors come at you. Yes. Yeah. It's the same thing with the ghost. So... I- I don't know. I'll see. I'll, I'll still be normal tomorrow. And if I don't get possessed or nothing happens to me, then th- th- that my theory is correct. They don't. They don't mess with the people who are like provoking them. What if you? Uh, what if we go do this and then the next day you show up to work and you can only speak Japanese? What? Yeah. So I get possessed by a Japanese ghost on the yeah. bridge. That would be actually pretty sweet, man. Yeah. I cool. can I can watch anime without like reading the subtitles. Yeah. I can just understand, like, Japanese. But you wouldn't be able to read the English subtitles. Ah, <laughs> uh, then I'll, I'll relearn English. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's, English is the easiest easier, language yeah. to learn in the world, there guys. You know. It's the absolute easiest. Okay, tell me another story. Oh, right, here's one. I used to live in a haunted house. Which the, one? The Encino house. Remember the, the Encino house that you used to come yeah. over and film? That house was haunted. The one that we shot the last, uh, the breakup video at? On the roof? Yeah, yeah, on the oh. roof. That house that we shot the breakup video at is actually How a so? haunted house. Because when we moved in, um, uh, the the owners talked to us. They're like, "Hey, by the way, um, the ho- enjoy the house, but also something tragic happened in this house." Wait, wasn't it owned by somebody we know, like a celebrity? Yeah, uh, Howie Mandel. Howie Mandel, yes. Yeah, yeah. He, it was uh, his daughter's house. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, I I don't know. I still don't know the tragedy that happened in the house. But what happened one night was. was Wait, me. the realtor told you this, or how he told you this? Uh, no, his daughter. Oh, or his oh, daughter, she... her daughter's husband. Okay. And um, it was me and Marlon. We were editing late at night, probably like two a.m. Right, and then we we're just so focused on our editing, and all of a sudden. We hear uh, from the back, like hard knocking, like from the back. We're like, what the f- was that? Like, we thought it was like Kimmy or like, yeah, like somebody, um, our other roommate at the time. And uh, Marlon was there too? Huh? It was Marlon too? Yeah. And then we both were, uh, we got up and then we went to the back. Open the door, and then the the motion sensor light went on. Because of you? Because of us. Yeah. And then we, we were like, what the f***? Oh, it didn't turn on it for the sound. It did not turn on 
for that sound. Oh. So that's when we were like, yo, what's happening? Dang. I would have been like, maybe a tree branch <laughs> fell on the roof or something. No, that's what we were, we were trying to debunk it. Yeah. yeah. We were like, what if it's a raccoon yeah. or something that like wanted the food inside the house? But the knocking was so like organized and yeah. like so like distinct. Yeah. It was like literally a knock. It was so vividly a knock. Yeah. And the fact that the motion sensor light didn't go off, bro. Yeah. Brought so many red flags. Damn. Um, Speaking of raccoons, I have a crazy raccoon story. A, you got a raccoon It's ghost? not haunted. Yeah, what's your raccoon story? It's just a random story. So I was living in Woodland Hills. Mm -hmm. My girlfriend at the time wakes me up at 2 a.m. Okay. I'm like, what? What? She's like, you got to go outside. There's a raccoon in the pool. I was like, what? It's freezing at this time. So okay. like... I wouldn't be able to get in that pool for like a, maybe like two seconds. I had to get out because okay. it would hurt. And I went out there and I was like, what? And I like wear my eyes and I went out there and there's a raccoon in the pool. And he's he's so cold that he can't climb out because he's, he's just like trying. But you can tell he's like shivering. He can't get out. <laughs> so I'm like, what? And then I look at the fence next to the pool and there's another raccoon on top of the fence. <laughs> and that one's yelling at that raccoon. I'm not sure what he's saying. I don't <laughs> okay. speak raccoon. But he's like, nah, 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 nah. and then I'm like, what, what? And then she's like, what do we do? I was like, ah, well, first of all, why do you think I would know what we should do right now? <laughs> you woke <laughs> him at 2 a.m. Yeah. She's like, well, he's gonna drown. We have to save him. I was like, oh, you're right. Okay, mm, okay. I'm gonna get a towel and I'm gonna put it next to, like, just in his range so he can grab it and maybe climb himself out. Okay. So I grab this towel and. I get close enough to try to like put the towel over the edge and he starts like <laughs> and I was like whoa and he got he he like panicked started hissing at me really loud I jump back then he swims to the other side of the pool but he's freezing so he's super slow making it to the other side of the pool yeah. and he gets to the other side of the pool and now he's like five feet from his friend on the fence mm -hmm. and the fr friend is still yelling at him and uh I think I, I like got some adrenaline in it because okay. it finally climbed itself out and then uh, it climbed the fence and when it was climbing the fence I saw why it couldn't get out of the pool why it had three legs oh no and that's why he was having such a hard time but uh, I saved his life I guess I'm a raccoon saver look at that. yeah look at you how yeah. do you know the other raccoons are from maybe it's like a maybe he's an enemy maybe he was trying something. to get away yeah. stepsister yeah. Oh, uh, dude. Uh, so there's this one story of my dad. Um, he went to this haunted historic mansion in South Carolina. Mm. And um, they uh, went to this ghost tour. Just because, you know, why not? Ghost tour? Ghost tour. Ghost tour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So as the story was, I wasn't here, but this is what my sister told me. Um, so they all went in the... Uh, the ghost tour in that mansion. Mm. And then as soon as my dad steps in, he looks up on like the staircase and he sees like a little boy ghost Ooh. just standing there and then walks away. All right. Have you ever asked him what it looks like? Does it look like a, a little yeah, human yeah, yeah. or he does said, it look like a ghost? It looks like a ghost. Like you can kind of see through. It's like, like the opacity is opacity to like 80%. Opacity. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 That's why he says it's like you can Are you sure it's of... not glaucoma? I'm pretty sure it's not. Okay. I'm pretty sure it's not. But anyways, <laughs> uh, he continues the tour, right? Yeah. Remind you, he saw that boy, whatever, whatever. Mm -hmm. he keeps going. Five minutes later, the tour guy was like, Oh yeah, there have been um just reportings of a little boy running up and down the staircase. So my dad didn't know that beforehand. What time is it? It's two forty one. And on the East Coast, it's... 5.41. And your dad works till... 6? 5? Because I want to call him and be like, hey, like, is there anybody else in your family that has anything like this? Or did he die when he was younger? That'd be crazy if you both we did. We should have him on the podcast. Can we call him? I ask. Yes! Let's see. I know he's on. What if he's like, oh, yeah, on? I died. You, you're going to shit your pants if he says he did. Come on. Well, it's just a regular caller. Come on. First, ask if there's anybody else in the family. Oh, if there's a bug ghost. Dang. 
he smell ghosts? <laughs> I don't know. I think they smell like sulfur. <laughs> oh, me too. That isn't answering. Well, they probably call Dang back it. before. Yeah, he'll call. Time. Okay, 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 okay. But you know what's crazy? What? The Philippines. Yeah. Like the supernatural things that happen in the Philippines. Yeah. Have you, when you went to the Philippines, did you feel anything that was creepy? I know you didn't go for a while, but. Did I you... did. I did. I flew my parents out to go to their, to meet my mom's side of the family that I, there's like freaking hundreds of cousins. <laughs> I yeah. didn't know. And then, uh, where, like, we went to where Aaron was born. We went to where my parents met. We went to, like, where my dad, the room he was staying in when he was stationed in Whoa. Fort Bragg Air Force Base. Yeah. And, you know, when, okay, I'll, I'll get back to the story, but you know, when I, until I was like 25, okay, I, d- Thought that the Philippines was like eight islands. Eight. It was like eight big islands, no? I don't know. A lot of small islands. Oh, I don't know. I just thought there was eight islands. Somebody told me there was like 7,000. I was like, what? There's a a lot of mini islands. I looked it up though. Any land surrounded on all sides by water is an island. Mm. So even if it's just one foot of land, it's an island. Dang. So even the rocks in the lake, that's an island? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, cute. Yeah. I like it. That's crazy. I never thought of that. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Okay. So I went to the Philippines um, and then my mom, we were driving on base and she was like, oh, that's where Aaron is born. But the hospital is uh, abandoned. Okay. It was like, you could tell they're like, there's some walls missing. Like it was just super abandoned. Did you go in there? Did you? So yeah. Did you? Oh yeah. my God, Alex. I filmed it. So then uh, uh, my mom or one of my, the people with us was like, oh yeah, he's a security guard. And he's like, oh, I could take you. And we're like, what? He's like, wait till nighttime and we can go in there. And I was like, what? And he's like, yeah, let's go. I'll show you around. I remember the hospital. I know where things are supposed to be, where they were. <laughs> so I'm like, all right. And Matt's with me too. He doesn't yeah. know. It. And he's like, dude, what is going on? I was like, I don't know what's going on either. So we go there. And, like, my whole family, there's, like, ten of us. This yeah. little kid's with us. So, I'm like, oh, I, w- I don't have to be scared. We go there, and he's like, oh, yeah, this is the ICU. And it's just empty rooms. Dark? Yeah, it's, it just oh, flashlights. Oh, my goodness. And he's like, this is where this was. This is where this was. And he's like, here's the uh, furnace that they used for cremation. Wait, so you didn't get any red flags with the security guard? Like, w- he just seemed very familiar with it, and my mom knew him, so I mean, oh, okay. yeah, my mom's or my mom's family seemed fine to them, so okay. okay. And he had a, a uniform on, yeah. So we go. He's like, "Oh, this is where they cremate people." It was like a giant oven, like mm. a like the one you put the pizza in. Yeah. And then there was a small one next to it, and I was like, "What's that one for?" For kids. Yeah. Oh. I was like, "No way! Why would they not just put them in the big one?" Yeah. Why would they waste money on another one? Yeah. So yeah. We did that, and then he was like, "Oh, you want to go to the morgue?" Oh my goodness! We're like, "Sure." So we go to the bottom of this abandoned hospital. It wasn't even safe; just like it was rickety. Yeah, it was old. So we get down there, and he's like, "There it is," and there's a door, but it's like halfway filled up with dirt because I guess like it sunk. Like yeah. the so to get in there, you have to like you have to like bend down to your waist and just like walk like this and then we're like okay let's go but before we went in we showed the camera and showed the flashlights around and there was a bunch of names but my name was everywhere your name alex is it alex 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 no last name just alex everywhere randomly if you watch the video i, I vlogged it yeah why? Is i don't name know the mo- there's a lot of names like there's random names, like people sign their names, but Alex was the most obviously the most common name up there, and it was so weird. What? Oh my gosh! Why is my name everywhere? Oh my gosh! What is that? I'm to get out of here. Why is my name everywhere? I'm freaking out. So then, uh, we're like, all right, let's go in. And uh, I think Matt didn't want to go, but he ended up coming, cause uh, whatever. So it was me, security guard, and Matt, and we crawl. We we get down. We're like bent over, walking, and then it gets to the point where you had to crawl. Oh you had to get on your stomach, God. so we did that too, and then we came to these like uh, slabs of it's it's I don't, what's it called the tombs? Yeah, tombstone. No, it was like they were in there, and then they had a big rock over top of it. Oh, okay, got what's it. What's that called? The uh, the 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 stone that covers the casket. Oh, the uh, 
Yeah, so it was like mini mausoleums for each person. Oh, so just God. rows of them, and we're deep in here, and we decided to leave after that because <laughs> we were too far in. Like, if anything did happen, we wouldn't be able to get out. It's too far. Oh my God! Yeah, I feel like something would have happened. Yeah, you should watch it. It's crazy. I'm gonna watch it later. Yeah, because uh, I'm telling you, the Philippines yeah. supernatural stuff happened like crazy. Yeah. Over there. What if like I have one of those things like Hokage had the death the death thing when he's trying to get Orochimaru and to suck his soul and he's just above me. Like, the sword in his mouth like that what if oh, i have yeah, that right yeah, now yeah yeah yeah. bro this know. guy loves Naruto. i'm so happy <laughs> for you bro dude oh that's crazy yeah. well you forced yourself into a scary situation yeah when i lived in the philippines like random stuff just happened after i died we should go to the philippines and do one of these we should yeah i am so down i bet there's guides for this growing up i used to live in this house in the philippines that was next to a haunted house Nobody lived on the top floor of that house because it was just so haunted. Mm -hmm. Anyone who stepped upon that floor will just get haunted. Mm. If you sleep on that floor, you wake up downstairs. You don't know why. So one day I decided to, me and my friends decided to investigate that house. All right. Mm. So we were walking to the house. And then we stop in front of the house and we look up on the second floor. We're like, okay, you guys ready? Let's go. I was eight at the time. Mm. All right. So as soon as we were all ready, we took one step. Boom. Mm. The street light that was like literally next to the house, mm. the light exploded. Oh. Like, oh. And we were like, oh, shit. Never. That's it. That was the end of the story. We we didn't pursue it because that was just so random. When you were a kid, did you watch uh, like Are You Afraid of the Dark or Goosebumps? Yes. Yes. Did you? Time. How did you watch it? Huh? How did you watch it? Uh, on the couch, Nickelodeon. Nothing <sighs> special. Why? We would me and I would go to my friend's house, and his name is Mikey. I don't uh -huh. even remember his last name, mm -hmm. but uh, he had like a super nice house, and he's like, "Let's go to the basement and watch on the big screen." And it was like a, one of those fat TVs because we were young. Yeah. And then we would go down there and he would make it pitch black, close all the doors. Dang. Yeah. No, no. He would close the, the main door to get out of the room, but he would open all the closet doors and they would all just sit there in a blanket and just watch Are You Afraid of the Dark? No way. Yeah. He was super into it. And mm. I was so scared, but I always did it. So maybe that's why you, so you don't believe in ghosts? I, I want, want to. to. I want to. I, I just want evidence because I've never encountered it. I'm not saying they don't exist. I just can't can't say for myself that they do or that I've encountered anything except so for that audio. When you were in the Philippines, were you you wanted to see a ghost in that yeah. hospital? Like mm -hmm. that was your main reason to go there? Or no, just for fun? that just we kind of just fell upon that. The guy yeah. just offered, and we're like, sure. But like, were you like, okay, I hope I see a ghost? Or yeah. Oh, you were. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you were. Yeah, I want. I would definitely love to encounter anything paranormal or that's hard to believe i gotta tell you this now i know we're going ghost hunting tomorrow but i don't think we'll see anything dang it i i i think we have to go into a like a very isolated area the reason why i say we're not going to see anything is because the passing of a bridge it's like next to a neighborhood yeah and the highway is like right there but there's still hope because a lot of people say it's scary, even like the the expert ghost hunters. So that's the my hope that, I don't know, hopefully we'll see something. I think if I was going to have some kind of paranormal encounter, I would. I wish you were there mm -hmm. or somebody was there yeah. just so I could have somebody to talk to. Even if the world didn't believe us, we could talk about it. I'd be like, yeah. dude, yes, right? Mm -hmm. And then, but if you did it by yourself, that would suck. Oh, I did go, go uh, ghost hunting one time. I went to Oregon for my birthday because there was a, a solar eclipse mm -hmm. that happened in my birthday. So we flew up to Oregon and we stayed at this one place. It was somewhere with Marlon and then Marlon's uncle lived in Oregon. So we stayed at his place and then we went ghost hunting in the woods. Mm -hmm. And dude, it was so weird. Like we For fun or for a video? For a video. Oh, okay. But then whenever we stopped uh, filming... We would just hear noises, like random ass noises. It's not the woods, like it's not the the, no the noise of trees or like animals. Mm -hmm. It was more like whispers, Ooh -hoo. like, like, like it's literally like, and then that's it. And then we walk, and then we hear, like yo, you hear that? 
and then we had um his his uncle's uh i guess his friends and they had guns too so they're ready to like shoot anyone who uh came upon us but yeah i just found that very weird Huh. I think it was because there was a solar the the solar the solar eclipse happened that day. But that oh, was, so the spare world and the real world were super I think close. So, so that was my only experience with like anything audible with yeah. the spirit world. Well, the thing with like to compete with me, to compete with me. I'm just kidding. <laughs> the thing with uh, ghosts and stuff is the same thing as Bigfoot. How can we never have any super clear concrete evidence mm-hmm. we might have audio but you don't know if it was edited we might have footage but you don't know if it was edited and if there was something it's just a light or a dust particle or an orb yeah yeah but there have been videos of ghosts though like security cameras and you see like apparitions just like dart across the screen or whatnot yeah but it could be edited it could be yeah there's just a lot there's no concrete evidence it's hard to have that concrete evidence Unless you experience it firsthand. Yeah, that's what I want. Yeah. And if you tell other people, they're gonna, they're not going to believe you. Yeah. Because there's like, that. there's one video of Bigfoot that everybody points to as like, oh, this is the best video. But then this guy came out and said it was him in a suit a long time ago for publicity for the movie they were shooting. Yeah. And so there's not even a concrete video of ghosts be like, that everybody's like, oh, if you want to believe in ghosts, watch this. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's because it's so diluted. You yeah. don't know what's real and what's fake. Yeah, they all true. seem very similar. Yeah. And the people who have the real videos, the people that make the fake videos, make it very similar to the real ones. So yeah. we don't know what to look for anymore. <sighs> Freaking AI. I hope we find the ghost tomorrow. I really do. You believe in uh, like mythical creatures? Like I know Bigfoot, but do you know the mythical creatures of the Philippines? Mm, duende? Yeah, Duende. That's all I know. Is there more? You know, there's a uh, Aswang. You know Aswang? No. Aswang, Mananangal. Um, they, go, they go hand in hand. It's like a vampire creature. Hmm. They, like feed off of like pregnant women. What? Yeah, they like detach their upper portion of their body and then just attack like yeah, pregnant women in the Philippines. Just eat it. I saw there's evidence these days that dragons were real. Oh, they say back in the days because there's so many different civilizations that talk about fighting flying lizards, like giant flying lizards. And then people are like, how come there's no fossils? And they were like, well, in order for a giant lizard to fly like that, they would need hollow bones. And those hollow bones wouldn't be able to be fossilized, just like a bald eagle. Apparently, bald oh. eagles can't be fossilized either because their bones are, they just they just deteriorate before they can fossilize. So they're saying that uh, they think that dragons might have been real back in the day. And so, they found a fossil of like this smaller uh, flying lizard that looked like it had wings. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's recent. Are fossils real? I assume so. Right? I've yeah. never seen a fossil. Right? Yeah, true. If we've never seen right? it, then it, it might not exist. Because like, yeah. Yeah. What is a fossil? I don't know. Wait, real quick. I'm not. A fossil is a fossilized old prehistoric thing that like that hardened and stuff. Fossils. So it's a it's a bone turned into stone throughout. Pretty much. Or like wood. Have you seen a fossil? No, I've never met anybody from Turkey either. I don't know if I believe there's a place called Turkey. So that means. You know when you go to like museums and you see like Tyrannosaurus Rex on the on the whatever yeah. pitched up. Yeah. Is that fake? Is that fossil or is that just bones? How what considers is that it? Fake? Someone might have made that. Maybe. To be honest, someone might have made that. Yeah. It's true. And then it would suck to be like, "Oh yeah, I'm from a place called Turkey." I never met anybody from Turkey. I don't believe in them. Turkey? Yeah. I don't <laughs> what? <laughs> you don't believe people from Turkey? But there was something else that I didn't believe in, and I was like, oh, I don't believe in this. Remember? Santa Claus? No, I came in the other day. Or it was like when I first started, we got back together. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I decided I don't believe in this because I've never seen it. But I can't remember what it was. Hopefully somebody in the comments will be like, oh, I saw you talk about it. Or I saw oh, it. Oh, you story. said <gasps> women weren't funny. No, I did not say you that. You did say that. I did not say that. I'm still kind of tripping about this 
fossils because fossils because i see it's just a slab of stone right yeah but sometimes it looks like wood what? oh yeah i need to do some research because are archaeologists real indiana jones was he based on a real character he's an architect he's an anar- <laughs> yeah. anarchist <laughs> what is I don't he know. no he was a he was an archaeologist yeah indiana jones so dinosaurs weren't real I think they were. They were, but... But you know a lot of people... Archaeologists. Indiana Jones? By, by real archaeologists, he does not count as archaeologist. Yeah, but his character was an archaeologist. Oh, yeah. Indiana Jones, the guy from Temple Run. Yeah. 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 He's an archaeologist. Yeah, yeah sure. <laughs> I don't know. You ever heard of Capre? No. Capre's son? <laughs> no, it's a, a Philippine mythical creature. Ooh. It's half horse, half man. He usually resides. Which side? Which half? Um, the top half is a horse. <laughs> the top half is, a horse. <laughs> is it? Other way, other way. Uh, the bottom. So it's a minotaur, see... huh? Minotaur it's or centaur? Right. Centaur. Yeah, it's basically a centaur. Okay. I would love to see the upper half of the horse, though. I'd be, I'd <laughs> I would be laughing. I would look down that. and be like, "Oh, <laughs> dang it!" Because <laughs> you could have had hands, but now oh. you just got four feet, two horse feet, and two human feet. <laughs> that would suck. But, so uh, wait. Minotaur is half bull, half human. Centaur yes. is half uh, yeah. horse. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And then what's the goat the from go- Hercules? Oh. Satyr. Satyr. Yeah. But uh, anyways, my dad, whenever he got sick growing up in the Philippines, mm-hmm. he would see a capre. Really? I would always see tree. a doctor. Huh? What? No. Stupid, <laughs> dude. Okay, go ahead. No, literally, like, he would be laying in bed just trying to recover. He'd look out the window. He would see this half man, half horse just sitting in the tree smoking a cigar. Is that a thing? Like, they show up when you're sick? No, it's not. My so, but when he was the time, sick, though. they would show up? For my dad, yeah. Yeah, but, like, they're not known for healing or anything like that? Nope. He just saw one every time he got sick, just staring at him from outside his window. Hmm. And I would be like, okay. That's random. That is Your dad random. has really nice calves. So maybe they're into calves because they don't have calves because they're oh. horses. Facts. See? I'm just connecting all Facts. these dots for dude, you. you are answering all my questions. Let's go. Dude. Oh, what do, you think what, about, what do you think about dreams? I love dreams. Do you? I have very vivid dreams. I confuse them with reality. And I also used to train myself in lucid dreaming. Did it work? Yeah. I can, in my dream... I, all I have to do in order to control the dream is realize I'm dreaming. If I, if I can realize I'm dreaming, I can do whatever I want. I can even, a lot of people don't believe this, but I can do it. I've done it so many times. In my dreams, you're not going to believe me. Okay. Tell me one out of ten how much you believe me after you hear this. All right, go ahead. If I realize I'm dreaming, I can snap and wake up in real life immediately. Things go like this. Did you train? I believe it. No, I just once I, once I realize it's a dream, I can control it. But sometimes it gets out of hand and like it doesn't go how I want it to. Yeah. Like it goes against me. Then I yep. can snap and wake myself up. Oof. Yeah. Did you train lucid dreaming? Uh, not. I mean, I did a lot of research on it, but I could always just do that. So how do you realize you're in a dream? When something doesn't make sense. It's like if I'm underwater, I'm, I'm not choking, mm-hmm. or if I like. Or if I'm picking up something that I'm not, I couldn't put, I, I'm not able to pick what up. What if it's, it's like a normal thing in your dream? Then I can't, I don't realize it's a dream. Oh, so it doesn't I have to realize it's a dream. Something has to happen or I have to notice something like the clock's not moving or something like that. Or like, just like if I try to read something, usually it's not how it is supposed to be. Yeah. That's where I'll be like, oh, am and I And then dreaming? you're just like, oh, and then that's when you realize. And yeah. Like, what do you do? I can can do anything. I can fly. I can do whatever. Dang. So that's how I test it. So I'll be like, oh, wait, am I dreaming? And then I I would try to fly or I would try to jump really high. You know, I I can give you methods if you want to practice. Oh, yeah. This is how you do it. Okay, go ahead. You ready? Lucid method dreaming with Alex. What is, just give me a few things that you do every single day. Okay. I uh, brush my teeth. Yep. I run. Yep. And no, no, that you do. You don't run every day. Okay, I brush my teeth. Yep. I go to sleep. Go to sleep, and I shower. Okay, so 
throughout your days mm-hmm. going forward, whenever you're doing, just pick one. Okay. So do brushing your teeth. Sure. Every single time you brush your teeth, ask yourself, am I dreaming? Am I dreaming? And then one day in your dream, you're going to be brushing your teeth and you're going to be have such a habit of asking yourself that, that you're going to ask yourself, am I dreaming? And then you're going to realize that you are dreaming. Oh. And then you can control it from there. Oh. Yeah. But you have to do it every day. It has to be like a habit. Like I do this every day. I've been doing it for months. That's scary. What if you do? You ever thought of like, what if I don't want to wake up? This then, is awesome. No, yeah, well, then you don't have to, but you you just stay asleep. But also, time is different. Like, oh. sometimes I'll wake up in the morning, I'll hit snooze, I'll go to sleep for five more minutes, but it felt like I lived a whole lifetime in that dream. That's insane. And that's how you have the most vivid dreams. That's really good for lucid dreaming is waking yourself up 20 minutes before you have to get up and then going back to sleep because it gets your mind, like, all the electrons and sparks going, yeah. and then you go back to sleep with a vivid mind, and then... That's when you have the craziest dreams or like the most coolest dreams. Dang, bro. Yeah. I'm going to start doing that. That's, I'm you just should trying to think. Do some research. Lucid dreaming. It's pretty cool. I did a long time ago. I tried, but I kind of give up. Do you feel more rested when you do that? I, don't, I feel like that takes a lot of energy and you don't feel rested just overthinking yourself in your dream. I don't feel, feel see the difference. Really? You just yeah. want to be like, ah, damn. Yeah. So it hasn't been a time. There's been a time where you're like, ah, oh, damn, that was a good flight. Yeah, sometimes I wake up and I'm like, oh, and I, I like a lot of times I go right back to sleep just because I want to finish that dream. Oh, I can't do that. Whenever I wake up, I can't, I can never go back to the same dream. Oh, yeah, I can. Especially if it's like, and I have, a, my favorite dreams are adventure yeah. dreams. Oh. And when I have, and when I'm in a dope ass adventure and like just some random person I know is on that adventure with me. And yeah. I'm like, oh, that was so cool. And then uh, I want to finish the dream. I go back to sleep. Dang, dude. You know what else kind of relates to this realm of talk? What? Hypnosis. We've both experienced that. Yeah, what do you think about that? Um, I think that you guys should watch us on Spotify, listen to us on Spotify, because it really helps us when it gets a lot of plays on Spotify. And that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to get to sponsors. Yeah. So we need more plays. Go to Spotify and listen to it. Add it to a playlist. Download it. Yeah. Like it. Copy Even the Apple URL. Apple Podcast, please. Apple Podcast. Yeah, that helps. I'm trying to get our first sponsor. Yes, sir. Who's it going to be? I think it might be BetterHelp. That'd be cool. <laughs> I said That's a really, I know they, they, a lot of creators do do ads with them, but it's really nice. Yeah. Uh, like therapy. Oh, yeah, for sure. It's pretty cool. I love therapy. I would, I would sponsor them just to get free sessions. <laughs> like, <laughs> they don't have to pay me. Just give me free sessions. Yeah. Uh, Okay, so hypnosis, man. Hypnosis. A lot Wait, of hold people. On. Going back to the dream thing, I have one thing. Before oh, we what, wrap what, it what? Up. The, all, the one dreams I have, I have two dreams that reoccur. Three, actually. I have none. The first dream that reoccurs is me in college still. Like I'm stressing. I guess. I think it came from trauma, from stress. Mm-hmm. I'm like late for class, never finished my work, or something is like, I feel like lost. I like missed like a whole week of class and I came in. Uh, second dream was my old house, the you know Trace you know, house. Yeah, I always dream about me being in the house. Something happens in the house, outside the house. The situation happened around the house. Mm-hmm. What do you think that means? I'm always in that house. Never like my current house, my parents' house. It's always that house. What was the third one? My third one is I would run as fast as I can, but I'm always slow. Mm. I feel so slow when I run, hmm. running away from something. I'm always trying to run as fast as I can, and I'm slow. And it pisses me off because I always want to run faster, but I can't. Yeah. So I used to, when I first started boxing, I was boxing every day. And I would dream, and I would be sleeping with my eyes closed, and I would throw throw punches in my sleep. <laughs> I punched uh, I punched um, Alexis in the back one time. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. I woke. I I remember waking up and she's like, ah, and I was like, oh, why is my hand hurt? Did I just punch you in the? Did I just punch you? Mm-hmm. And she's like, yeah, you punched me right in the back. <laughs> I was like, oh, I can feel it. That hurt. And she was like, yeah, it hurt me too. I was like, I'm so sorry. You used to you talk in your sleep a lot. I still do that. Yeah. I still. I I remember one time we were in Japan for some brand deal or something. Yeah. And we I were sleeping in the same room and you kept waking me up. I think it's because you were so jet lagged and you would just sit, mumble things. Yeah. And then I'd be like, oh, let's respond to Alex. So I remember one time you're like, 
Hey. <laughs> Dead asleep. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. It's like, yo. What it do? <laughs> I was like, what's good? Yeah. <laughs> and then I, I went back no, to sleep? I, yeah, I yeah. did. <laughs> that's crazy. Like, that's wild. There was bro. one time you told me we were at some hotel and you were just working on your laptop. And I sat up and I was like, hello? And then I, 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 went, <laughs> yes. I laid back down. <laughs> I'm like, this guy is wild, man. Um, remember you used to take pictures of me sleeping on the flights? Because I would like turn and then sleep in the chair like that. <laughs> yeah. And then you would show me pictures later. I'm like, whoa, oh, I look bro, dumb. Dude, you are a really gracious sleeper. Yeah. You're a violent, gracious sleeper if I were to kind of describe you in two terms when you're sleeping. Yeah. I love hearing stories when I wake up about, I think Alexis used to every, almost every night, she would be like, guess what you said yesterday? Guess oh, what you God. did this time? Guess what happened? Yeah. But I think she's gotten used to it so it doesn't wake her up anymore. And I'm like, oh, darn it. Dang. Ah, so I'm sure it still happens, but she just doesn't. Sleepwalk, you do? It. No. She, you know what she did last night? Who? Alexis. Did she sleepwalk? No. What? But we were both sleeping. And I remember her turning over in the middle of the night. I turned over and I faced her. And I remember seeing her hand here. It was like just laying right here, right in front of my face. Yeah. And then I fell asleep. And then I don't know how much longer later, but I just I just wake up with a finger in my nose. And it was like, it was like oh, <laughs> oh. And she was like, what? What? And I was like, "Oh, your finger went in my nose." And she was like, "Oh, yeah. oh yeah, I I feel I felt it." And I was like, "What? That's such a like small hole. How did you even get it in there in your sleep?" And she's like, "I don't know. I think it was like down here." And she just went up. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Fish hooked my nose. That's crazy. Our mind is crazy. Yeah. Our mind has not. It's not being utilized. You remember how I wake up a, a lot of the oh, time? Ooh, ah, yeah. What? <laughs> ooh, ah, ah, what? <laughs> Ah, ah, ah. What? What? Oh shit! Why are you always in a panic when you wake up? Because I always feel like I'm late for something. Oh. And whenever somebody wakes me up and it's not the alarm, I think, Oh, I'm late! Oh, I forgot something! Wait, 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 wait! Am I? What are? What are? Am I supposed to be boxing? Am I supposed to be at work? Oh, sorry, what? I was busy flying. Did I? Yeah. Did I forget to post something? Yeah. So I, I still wake up like that. Um, even if we, we even whisper your name to wake up. Yeah. Alex. Ah, what? What? <laughs> Why? That's I just, funny. I don't know. You're a funny sleeper. I just, uh, the same thing. That's why you have that college dream. I just have that when I wake up. I feel yeah. like I'm late. Oh, I hate okay. being late. I'm oh. never late. Mm -hmm. I'm always either 10 minutes early waiting in my car or like five minutes early walking in. You know, uh, there's a saying, I forgot who said it. If you are on time, mm -hmm. you're late. Yeah. But if you're early, you're on you're time. On time. I always go about it. I'm like, oh, cool. Yeah, I just like, why be late? Like, why don't, why not just get there early? If you want to just be on your phone or you want to do something, just do it in the car there. Yeah, like, but you leave can a little spend early. Uh, extra 10 minutes somewhere else. So, or five minutes somewhere else. That's I guess. My, that's my rebuttal. I like being five minutes early. Yeah. That's a sweet spot. I think I just, I usually whatever I want to do, like check my phone or check social media or, or take a shit. Yeah. Any of that, I can do it there. So I just usually like, I'll just get there a little early. Yeah. You ever been late for a flight? Rarely. Maybe in the early days of flying. <laughs> what? 1940s? No. <laughs> like, like in the early days, like when we first started flying, yeah, like yeah. I didn't really start doing planes until I was like 22. Mm. But then I got a passport. We went to Japan. That was the first time I went out of the country. Yeah. And then after, from 22 on, I was, uh, there was probably like years where I was flying like 10 times a year. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Either going home, going to do brand deals, going on vacation, going wherever. Dude, I am terrified of flights now. I didn't used to be hmm. in the beginning of mm -hmm. the 1940s. But now, whenever there's turbulence, it's like, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I don't know why. I think, oh, I know why. Because I had a really bad experience once. I was visiting Monette. Um, it was a flight from Charlotte, North Carolina, to Gainesville, Florida. Yeah. And to go to those two cities, you have to take a tiny plane. Yep. And I uh, did the same thing. Oh, yeah, you did. Yeah, yeah. And there's one time turbulence was so bad. Like, you can literally feel the fling like, like a roller coaster. Yeah. And then the lady behind me just kept screaming. It traumatized me. She's like, Jesus Christ, Lord, save me out. Oh! I was like, shut the fuck up. 
Yeah, I... Uh, it, was, it was scary. I have a weird reaction to turbulence. I take my seatbelt off. Oh. Because I like it. Okay. I'm like, whoa. Because okay. I feel like airplanes are not as dangerous as people think. Mm. Yes, there's been huge, horrible, historical, bad things that have happened. But statistically, planes are like the safest mode of travel. Mm -hmm. So when there's turbulence, I'm like, ooh, how bad's it gonna get? How bad? I'm like, I wanna come off my seat. No. That's why I take my seatbelt off. Because what? We're not gonna hit another plane. We're not gonna hit a car. So we're, the only thing that can happen is you're gonna shake and the plane's gonna go down. So why have your seatbelt on? Unless you're, I mean, if, if we start going down, I'll put my seatbelt back on. Yeah. But just for the shaking part, I'm like, woo, -hoo -hoo, Stop. let's go. You don't do that. Do you do that? <clears throat> I really, I really do. Oh, I am not afraid of help? planes at all. What? Um, no, I don't know. It's just like, start doing dude, that. if we're going to go down, we're going to, we're not going to make it. You yeah. know, the, the two or like, I know in the top five most dangerous modes of transportation, we talked about this in a previous podcast, yep. is motorcycles. motorcycles and ferries. Berries. Yeah, I don't know why. I still I want to research that. I don't know why oh. they're so dangerous, but they're really up there in casualties. Yeah, probably because people fall off. I guess or like I had the dr I don't know. Maybe because the weight of the cars. Maybe it goes down. I don't know. Maybe. But you think you would yeah. hear about that? Mm -hmm. But also, is it safer to land, crash land on land or water? Water. Why? Because the fluidity of the water is safer than the concrete land. Wrong. Well, damn, be it. <laughs> well, maybe maybe you're kind of right in the sense that uh, maybe like it is a softer landing. Sure. But statistically, if you crash land in the ocean, you're way less likely to make it than if you crash on wow. the... Because of the fact that even if you do survive, you're in the middle of the ocean. By the time they can get to you, you're either drowned or frozen or hyperthermia. So it's better to crash on land than in water. But they have floaties. Yeah, but it's still like they they can. What if they never find you? What if you get like? What if you float away from the wreckage and they just never find you? Oh. I'm pretty sure water is like you're gonna die. But it's softer, like a pillow. Yeah, but it's not about that. It's about if you're flying international, you're in the middle of the ocean. Wait, you know the slides they used to get out of the plane? That's a that's a boat. Yeah, but like. I don't know, man. I just, I just I tell you know. what, I was surprised by that fact. Huh. Yeah. Yeah? Would you climb the Mount Everest? I don't think so. I heard the Wi-Fi is not great. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. Would you? I think maybe. Maybe. <gasps> how maybe. many miles is that? I don't know how many miles. It's dangerous. Yeah. Because uh, I'm on the algorithm. I'm on, I'm on the Mount Everest algorithm now. What does this mean? Oh, oh. Where people climb. And yeah. There's apparently the last leg of the mountain is called the death zone. Yeah. Where a lot of people die. And then when people die, they just leave the bodies there. So when people hike up there, mm -hmm. you just see dead bodies everywhere. I saw that they said that there's some bodies that have been there so long that hikers use them as landmarks. Yes. Like, oh, okay, there's the green body. Yes. Or like the, the green, green suit. Yeah, yeah, green boots. He's like, okay, that means we're halfway. Yeah. That's dude. crazy. That's that's wild. Yeah. But uh, I don't know, maybe. I'm thinking about it. That'd be cool. Dang. Okay, I have a request. Okay, what's your request? If I die, uh huh, and I'm cremated, Yep. put me on Mount Everest. Whoa. Just release me up there. What if I die? I just die like this? Oh, you die up there. Yeah. Holding your cremation? Yeah, that'd be the landmark. But oh, pour me like out though. Pour me out though. Yeah, what? What if your thing freezes and we're like this? The dust. The dust. Uh, and I die. Dang oh, that'd it. be cool. That would be cool. We die together. Yeah, or you're dead already. Yeah, I'll die with you. Yeah, that's cool. All right, I'll, and then we can haunt people that come up there. I'll do my best. We can be like, ooh. So hypnosis. Hypnosis. <laughs> <laughs> we can touch it and I'll. Uh, yeah, we'll talk about it another day. Uh, we're gonna go ghost hunting tomorrow. I really, I'm excited, and I hope we find out. Yeah. The truth. Me too. Mm -hmm. Make sure you guys comment down below what you want us to talk about next because we read every single comment if you're watching on YouTube. And if you're watching on Spotify or Apple, thank you for that too. Make sure to like, subscribe, uh, whatever they do on Apple Music. And we will see you next Monday as we will every Monday. All right. I'm Alex. I'm Roy. See you in the next podcast. Okay. Bye. Bye.